Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the introductory part of vitamins. So, what are vitamins and what are multivitamin supplements and what they are in nature and how many how, uh, how much amount of vitamins you are supposed to take in the diet and what are the differences between fat soluble and uh, water soluble vitamins we'll be talking. So, coming to the definition, what are vitamins? So, nutrients that our body doesn't make in its own that's why we are supposed to provide them in the diet and we should consume them as a food supplements and they are what for they required to supply in the diet they are essential for providing good health and necessary for many life functions okay and vitamins are organic in nature and the requirement is very little in my nature and the requirement okay, in milligrams but and day to day basis they are supposed to supplement it as a food. So supplements what they are like synthetic or natural substances which can be purchased as pills, tablets, capsules, wafers, powders or liquids. So should I get my vitamins from food or supplements? A diet which is in high concentration of fibers and low in fat is best way to meet daily nutrition needs. And at the same time if you see the food pyramid okay so it should be like meeting the recommended daily allowances or recommended dietary allowances for vitamins and nutrients because whatever the food the main biomolecules you take carbohydrates lipids proteins and nucleic acids okay for the digestion absorption and the metabolism you require vitamins okay without vitamins there is no proper metabolic pathway that takes place inside the cell and supplements are mainly of minerals and uh, vitamins so minerals this, that is another chapter we'll discuss uh, in detail about the minerals and vitamins as we are talking now so a well balanced diet along with carbs lipids proteins they should be inclusive of this vitamins and minerals okay and supplements shouldn't replace healthy diet okay uh, it, it doesn't mean that if you're taking a multivitamin uh, capsules you're not supposed to take uh, carbohydrates uh, rich meal or protein rich meal there should be part they shouldn't totally be neglected or avoided. Food provides calories and energy that are required for daily activities. Vitamin supplements do not provide energy or calorie, but they will assist the pathways which are providing energy or calories. Please make sure of it and please keep this in your mind. Vitamins, they don't provide energy, but they assist the pathways, okay, and they boost those pathways to provide energy or calories. So, do we need a multivitamin supplement so it doesn't hurt to get a little to take a multivitamin daily because there are different types of vitamins fat soluble which are going to be stored in our body which serve you for days to months and water soluble vitamins which are supposed to take on day to day basis every day okay and few fat soluble vitamins are synthesized by gut bacteria and few will be stored like water soluble vitamins will be stored in the liver like such as b12 okay so like it depends person to person and their activities okay so if any hard worker who is uh, like a rickshaw puller uh, like farmer who are doing their physical activity they require more energy so if they require more energy means they should consume the food in huge quantities or large amounts like carbohydrates proteins so for the better digestion and absorption of the metabolic uh, reactions to take place for pro energy they should consume the vitamins so like college students if you talk about so if the, they are not eating well or balanced diet in that condition they can use make use of these multivitamin capsules so when they're choosing a supplement select one that meets 100 to 13 percent 300 percent of the uh, required daily allowance so what do multivitamin contain so multivitamin is like containing nothing but it should fat soluble vitamins like ade water soluble vitamin b1 b2 b6 b12 niacin panthen because b1 b2 uh, niacin panthenic acid uh, are like mostly for energy releasing vitamins okay for energy producing metabolic pathways they 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 require these vitamins okay vitamin c and uh, they are like mostly mostly for vitamin c and a e uh, vitamin c e for mainly as antioxidants they are usually have minerals such as zinc magnesium copper and calcium in them so recommended daily allowances to talk about their suggested levels of essential nutrients that considered to be to meet nutritional needs and healthy individual based on their activities. So antioxidants. So uh, antioxidant means the substances which fights with the free radicals which are oxidants majorly in our body. 
and free radicals are compounds within our body like which will be forming from nascent oxygen which is escaping the electron transport chain the oxygen which are consuming which we are consuming will be used at the uh, electron transport chain level as two molecules of oxygen which are not completely utilized one of the oxygen will be escaped from the uh, escaped from the etc and forms nascent oxygen this is also one of the reason for generator of uh, free radicals in our body examples that like uh, which are fighting with these such free radicals like nascent oxygen in etc free radical from smoking pollution so the substance which fight against these substances are free radicals known as antioxidants if the main antioxidants in our body are like uh, in vitamins which are acting as like c citric acid uh, ascorbic acid uh, e tocopherols and beta carotene of a what is the difference between fat soluble and water soluble vitamin fat solubles are stored in liver and in fatty tissues they are not readily excreted from the body so that's why if you take fat soluble vitamin in large quantities they will serve you from days to months and in case of water soluble vitamins that facility is not available however the amounts you take or consume they will simply excreting in the urine so their requirement is like day to day basis so the factors you are supposed to consider before taking a vitamin supplement so do you eat foods high in vitamins and minerals are you dieting or do you follow the food guide pyramid do you smoke or drink regularly because when you are smoking or like what to say what type of food you are eating or like in conditions like pregnancy lactation and if you are aged okay so if you are taking some antibiotics so all these factors uh, commands whether you are supposed to take vitamin supplement or not like suppose if you eat or having a like a carbohydrate rich meal certain type of vitamins you are supposed to include in your diet okay or like uh, if you are smoking so more free radicals are producing so you are supposed to take e c or uh, beta carotene type vitamins in the diet pregnancy they require more energy for the baby so you must consume like energy releasing vitamins at the same time folic acid cell synthesizing promoting water soluble vitamins like folic acid b12 okay and if you are aged so to keep you uh, like uh, active so b6 is the vitamin which you are supposed to include in your diet like uh, pyridoxine and prescription drugs like antibiotics if you are taking because some of the vitamins has been pro synthesized in the gut by bacteria like vitamin k and at the same time b2 so in that condition these drugs will inhibit the micro gut to producing these vitamins in that condition you require to take a uh, multivitamin supplement can i take too many vitamins like for the most uh, this may this also the doubt you may get uh, for the most part vitamin supplements are safe to take follow the recommended dosage or uh, as they are labeled on the bottle okay and fat soluble vitamins as i told you they are going to be stored so in excess they have a condition like hypervitaminosis okay so they have some side effects okay so while taking fat soluble vitamins one should have cautious okay there though okay you are taking in large amounts but there is a limit above the limit there is some uh, side effects so you should be cautious when you are taking fat soluble vitamins so yes you are supposed to take the vitamins along with the normal food okay for the better metabolism and for better uh, productivity you require to take vitamins in the along with the regular diet so nutrition of your body like stress like stress to fight with the stress you are supposed to like stress will be caused by like production of free radicals which play a role in development of cancer and heart diseases and aging so to fight with the stress there is a role of uh, vitamin supplementation in the diet so if you provide e c and by vitamin a beta carotene so these are the vitamins which can fight with the stress so that's what we are telling about increasing serotonin levels in the brain uh, vats of the stress related symptoms like depression irritability frustration uh, mineral magnesium can help regulating serotonin levels antioxidant supplements can also break up free radicals that cause harm to your body so that's all about the introductory part of the vitamins and the requirement of vitamins and multivitamin capsule supplementation which conditions you are supposed to take these vitamins along with the food right so that's all about Thanks for listening. Thank you.